Hey everyone, Vexilographer here, and I am sorry for the insanely long hiatus this channel's been on. It's been way too long since I made one of these, but I am back, baby, and it's time to finish what I started. So a while back, I had you guys vote on 100 of the world's largest cities that have flag designs of their own. I asked you to give each flag a rating from 0 to 10, and then I compiled them and ranked them, and we did a top 10 video with your comments and your ratings. And these top 10 city flags that you loved the most were really cool, uh, and there was a lot of great stuff to talk about. A lot of cool historical references, uh, flawlessly integrated into the elements of the design. Uh, there was a lot of cool stuff to talk about with the top 10. But then, I compiled the worst ten, according to you. The flags you hated the most. And these are bad. These are just lazy, unoriginal designs. And there's not much to say, because they didn't put the effort in. You can tell they didn't put the effort in. These are just sad designs, and I don't have much to say about them. But what I do have, thankfully, is your comments roasting them. So, so together with your comments, Let's roast the top 10 worst major city flags of the world. Here we go. Number 10 is the city flag of Brazzaville, the capital of the Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. You see, Congo has a cool, simple, yet groovy national flag. What did their capital city pick as their flag? Voila! They put their coat of arms on a plain white background. And that's it. Uh, like Gavin Show says, it's like the Congolese version of a U.S. state flag. Yeah, it's just about as lazy as all the horrible blue state flags with coats of arms and seals slapped on for no reason. Like, it's just... Ah. Uh, like Kitty Cat says, not a fan of any of this. George here says, if their flag was what's inside the little shield, it would be a hundred times better. If you're gonna make a flag out of a coat of arms, don't put the whole thing on a plain, boring background. Take something unique from the coat of arms, like the design on the shield, and make that the main element of the flag. That, like George says, would be a hundred times better. It would be unique, people would see it from a distance, instead of having to squint their eyes and figure out whose coat of arms it is. Uh, Alexander says, no text on flags. The lines are too thin. No one would see the green plant or hat. See, this thing is so small, you can't tell what it is. Uh, and people were confused about this. Oni says, I like the tentacle hat at the top. <laughs> I had to do some research on this one. So thankfully, Brazzaville has an official city website that has uh, an explanation as to what's on the coat of arms. So that thing on the top is apparently a royal headdress used by the kings of the Teke people who live in the Brazzaville area. That, that's some cool local symbolism. Uh, something specifically related to their particular uh, history. Uh, a royal headdress, that's great. But it, you, you put the whole coat of arms on there, no one's gonna see that. <sighs> so that's number 10. Let's move on. Number 9 comes from Uzbekistan. It's the capital city of Tashkent. And this is their flag. Wow, you put your city's seal on a plain white background. <sighs> Jamburger says, is this Uzbekistan's interpretation of American state flags? Sure looks like it. You guys have been a central city throughout the various empires that have come and gone throughout Central Asia, leaving behind amazing architectural wonders, and you just put your seal on a white background. Ah, these missed opportunities are driving me crazy. Iris says, I like the ratio and I like the purple. I remove the text on the seal and use that purple on the flanks of the flag to round it out. Once again, there's potential there, but as it is, it isn't good. Iris just improved your flag massively. Uh, Millie just sums it all up with her comment. Seal. <laughs> that's all she said. That's all she has to say, because that's all there is. <sighs> Tobias says, interesting city. Not so much for the flag. And Ben says, words, seals, and gradients, you lose. Good day, sir. Number eight comes from the South Asian country of Bangladesh. Their capital city, Dhaka, has this as their flag. You guys gave her an average score of 2.9 out of 10. Uh, uh, Esper says, are we sure this isn't a U.S. state flag? <laughs> yeah, I know. You, I, I know. Eden says, text, seal, no, 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 just use the lamp post. Yeah, that would actually look cool, uh, but we can't have that. Let's include all the other crap on there. Uh, Matt says, too much going on, though I appreciate the homage to the national flag. Yeah, the red circle on the green background is kind of clever. You can kind of appreciate it, but there's all this other stuff on there, so it's kind of hard to. 
Uh, Taz says, it looks like a ramen label. <laughs> Skull says, it looks like the label of a beer bottle. And Michaela says, text gets a zero. No points for that. Now, it looks like this flag is specifically the flag of the Dhaka City Corporation, which is basically the organization that runs all the city's functions, uh, but it might be outdated because recently the Dhaka City Corporation split into a North Dhaka City Corporation and a South Dhaka City Corporation. So this flag might be outdated. It might not exist anymore. Hopefully, it doesn't exist anymore. Number seven comes from the country of Nigeria. It's the fourth largest city in Nigeria. It's the capital city of Abuja, which some people refer to as the heart of Nigeria. Why do I know that? Because it's written on the flag. Whew. They're getting worse, guys. They're getting worse. Ah, you guys gave this one an average score of 2.77 out of 10, and it's just sad. Katie Kant says, love the colors, love the imagery, loses points for writing. Iris says, color choice is subpar, text usage makes me sad. Goose Hunk says, the words on this flag really hurt me, but the central design is almost okay. So that shape around the hands actually has a little bit of meaning. Uh, that is in the outline uh, of the shape of the Federal Capital Territory, which is the designated area that the capital of Abuja is located in. So it's one little thing, but did you have to put your motto on the... Ah, my... Dun Dun says, who needs imagery when you got words? <sighs> ben says, this is a website logo, not a flag. And of course, Gavin Show has to say, it's the Nigerian version of a U.S. state flag. I know, I know. The sixth worst flag on this survey, according to you guys, was sadly the flag of Manila, the capital city of the Philippines, which pains me to say because there are so many awesome Filipino viewers of mine out there, and some of them commented on this survey. Josh says, I'm not proud of my city's flag, and Kurt says, as a Filipino myself, this looks mediocre to my eye, and then I think he said, forgive me, fellow Filipinos, in Filipino, uh, and with a crying sad face. Oh, it's sad. Another just seal on a bedsheet. And not, and not just that. Anna says, not only seal on a bedsheet, but bad seal on a bedsheet. Sammy uh, says, terrible. They could have just gone with the merlion and ocean. So if you look at the flag, and then look at the seal on the flag, and then look at the shield inside the seal inside the flag, you'll see some cool stuff, actually. Uh, there's this creature that's like half lion, half fish, which is often referred to as a merlion uh, in there. And that has been on the seal of Manila since the 16th century. Uh, like, that's a cool symbol, but it's so small! It's so small and you can't see it! There's some good stuff on that shield besides that, too. There's a pearl, which is a reference to one of Manila's nicknames, the Pearl of the Orient, and there are these uh, these cool uh, wave shapes here, these, these blue and white waves uh, representing the Pasig River that goes right through the city. There's some good stuff on that shield, but it's so small, because... Ah. James says, this flag is absolutely terrible. Manila is such an iconic city. Why would they go with the U.S. state model? I know, guys, I know. And slap a seal on a single-colored bedsheet, and it has writing on it. Come on, Manila, you can do so much better. For number five, we go to Accra, the capital city of Ghana. Ghana. Accra. Accra was the center of the Ghanaian government that declared its independence from Britain in 1957, which kicked off this huge inspirational wave of other African countries declaring their independence in the 1960s and beyond. Accra is where a lot of that kind of got started, got its initial boost with uh, the first president, Kwame Nkrumah. And uh, all this is commemorated in Accra's downtown Independence Square with these cool arches and gates. There's some cool stuff that happened in Accra. Its flag, however, got an average score of 2.66 out of 10. Can we ban all flags from being just a seal on a background, please? <laughs> Katie Cat says, hate this. That shield is awful and tiny. You can't even read the banner under it. Plus, it's all in a seal with more writing. Dino says, this is US state level design here. I know, Dino, I know, it, uh, I know. <laughs> Goosehunk says, no, bad Accra, Ugh. And Dun Dun says, established 1898, let the whole world know it. Accra, there is cooler stuff about your city than the date it was founded. Number four is the capital city of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Here you go, 
Uh, it's just as disappointing as all these others. Just another seal on another boring white background. You guys gave it an average score of 2.32 out of 10. <laughs> Braun says, oh come on, the name of the place is on the flag. Gavin Show says, Ethiopian version of U.S. Day. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Geogra Geek says, Addis Ababa is one of the most important cities in Africa, exploding with a crazy history of everything, and this is its flag? LA Boy at least made some interesting thing out of it. Uh, did it take that much effort to color the field? While I'm at it, I think it's very funny how it looks like the Justice Angel is abducting the star onto their mothership with a crowd of onlookers. He at least made something out of it. Number three comes from Taiwan. Uh, and it's not just bad, it's also funny. Uh, this is the flag of Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan. <laughs> Eris says, Nice advertising poster, not a good flag. Keevan says, it's just missing a trademark symbol. <laughs> Marissa says, the name being written on it in bold font ruins an otherwise good design. Uh, this guy called it the city of finger painting. <laughs> Schneebe says, at least complete the Bay character. You see, it's got the name Taipei written in English and in Chinese uh, characters. Uh, and it looks like the finger painting looking part. It looks like they were trying to start the last syllable there, the Bay character, but didn't finish it. Bella says, it looks like it's trying to sell me something. Sigrid says, Pocatello Part 2. <laughs> and my favorite comment comes from Alice. Taipei, you aren't a fun soft drink in the 90s. Cut that out. And now if we can go back to the Philippines for just a moment, the second worst flag on the survey, according to you guys, was the city flag of Davao, the third largest city in the Philippines. Uh, there it is. City of Davao. Official seal. Wonderful. Hey guys, look! It's the official seal! Thank God they told us that it's the official seal! Ryan says, hmm, I wonder what that big round thing is on this flag. Gaming Noodles says, the fact that it says official seal like we didn't already know. Brayden says, it says official seal on the official seal of the city of Davao on the city flag of Davao. Ved Dalvi says, <laughs> Ved Dalvi's official survey comment for the flag of Davao. And Rowan says, awful US state flag. I know. So. What flag could be worse than all those others we've seen in this video so far? Which major city flag uh, in the world did you guys pick as the number one worst one in this survey? Well, that dishonor goes to the city of Cape Town, the second largest city in South Africa, and South Africa's legislative capital. Now, before I show you the flag, let me give you a little bit of backstory. Cape Town is a gorgeous city. I hope to visit there someday. It looks really cool. Uh, they've got beautiful Table Mountain, this national park with stunning views and stuff. Uh, I, I really want to check this city out. Uh, they've got these beautiful multicolored houses in the Bokop area. They've got so much cool stuff stuff that I would love to check out someday. Cape Town is gorgeous as a city. Now, in 2014, the city government of Cape Town decided to get a rebrand, to get a makeover uh, in their government branding. So uh, they spent millions to this company to give them a new logo. And this generated a lot of controversy in Cape Town. There were a lot of people upset that like the city didn't consult them enough. Uh, and a lot of people were attached to the old logo and didn't like the new one, that kind of thing. Now let me show you what part of this logo looks like. This is actually a really cool element, I think. Uh, it's this circular sort of emblem uh, that kind of looks like turning gears, like gears turning towards progress and toward a better future and that kind of thing. And that was what they were going for. And it's really cool because they took the silhouette of Table Mountain, their famous Table Mountain, and they copied it over and over again to make all these gears. That's really clever, and I really like it. And these multicolored shapes uh, not only sort of are kind of like the national flag of South Africa, using multicolored shapes to represent the new diversity of the country, but these multicolored shapes also use a lot of the same colors as those uh, multicolored houses in the Bokop neighborhood. This logo kind of works well for Cape Town, except for one thing. I'm not showing you the entire logo. This is only part of the logo. The entire logo, which I'm about to show you, is what they've apparently put on their flag. Ladies and gentlemen, the entire logo and the entire flag of the city of Cape Town, South Africa, you guys gave this lovely design. <laughs> you guys gave this design a score of 1.0 
out of 10. Oh boy, Cape Town, that is just not acceptable at all. That is, that is insulting, man. <laughs> That's horrible. And you guys had plenty to say about it. So let's get started. Chloe starts it off. What's worse than putting the name of the city on the flag? Putting the name of the city on the flag in three different languages and a slogan that sounds like it was made by a committee. <laughs> Making progress possible together. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Geff says, when I saw the word progress in the lower text, my brain stopped reading and assumed it said work in progress. <laughs> Alexander says, this is not a flag. This is a business card. Sigrid says, this is not a flag. It's like the American flag, but just much worse. Daniel says, this is not a flag. It's a rejected billboard design. The 0304 design was pretty good, though. Look at that. Look at that. That is a massively better flag. Anna says, like, take that seal, plop it in the middle, get rid of the text in that line. Yeah, that weird obtuse angle thing going on. Why is that even there? And of course, there's the inevitable Pocatello comparison to the former Pocatello, Idaho flag. Gav says, the spirit of Pocatello didn't die, it just moved to South Africa. Fabian just renamed the city Capitello. <laughs> Matthew got a little bit sarcastic here. I wonder what city this flag belongs to. I only speak English, Afrikaans, and Kosa, but I still can't seem to figure it out. I especially love the Afrikaans part of this text here. Stad, Kapstad, like, like, that's like town, Cape Town. That's like Cape Town, town. <laughs> and my favorite comment here was from Eric, who just said, I think somebody entered an essay into a flag competition and it won. Pretty much. That's 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 the worst one on the survey. Um, that was a good choice, everyone. That is horrendous flag design. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this wall of shame tour uh, through the 10 worst city flags in the world, according to you guys. Ah, oh, Cape Town, that's bad. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. Take care.